Is this mic on? Is it working? One second. Let's make sure we're all good to go. One second. Uh, waiting for this to actually go live on YouTube. One second. What's up? It's your boy Henry Gillette, the hype man himself. Uh, we've been a game I'm very excited about. I'm actually because uh, I'm a huge fan of these sort of games, uh, and I actually kind of started with games like Half Life and you know, uh, Bioshock, uh, Dishonored, uh, Thief, Wolfenstein, uh, Deus Ex. I'm actually I, so I like these sort of games, uh, cyberpunkish, steampunkish sort of games. Uh, in this case, like these sort of games that have like the Fallout wipe, so I love that's a, a series that I really enjoy, and it's actually created by the same developers who made uh, <coughs> Fallout New Vegas, uh, which is the one Fallout, Fallout I haven't played yet. Uh, I'm actually waiting for that. To, there's a, like whatever that's a, it's like a Fallout format, whatever. But that's not the case. Anyways, this is such a fun game. I played a few minutes. This is just the start. I haven't showed you the intro because I was trying to check out if the game actually runs better and all of that. And it actually runs uh, surprisingly well. It's actually a very well optimized game compared to Modern Warfare, which actually runs way better now. Uh, yeah, <clears throat> and yeah, so uh, this is actually just the opening uh, section. We're actually getting, we're starting our journey with this. So this is day zero of. Uh, my journey into this game. One second, I gotta figure out why isn't the live showing up. One second, guys. Gotta make sure why isn't it showing up. Hmm, okay, it's live right now. It's showing up right there. It's gonna do a bit of a sound check. Hoping we're all good to go. Again, we're gonna make our way to there. Let's see. Uh, okay, so we have to go over there. Yep, mic is working. We're good. I think the game runs pretty well. This guy over there. I think we need to hide in there because this guy. All right, let's just start our journey now. Okay, before we do that, I would love if you guys showed your support by liking, commenting, and subscribing down below and clicking that bell icon. You know, it really helps. Uh, you know, with the channel. There's a guy over there, there's a guy over here, do we do do we do? Is there any way we can take this guy down? Oh, nope. 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 Uh, did not mean to do that. That was like the health bar. Ah. Skidoo! Jump up! What? Okay, so I don't think I can do that. Okay, so that was a a very bad opening battle. Sorry about that. <clears throat> Take all. All right. Uh, health is no. We don't need that. F is definitely the health. We just need to go over. So we got shotguns and all of that. Okay, cool. How is it? Ah, oh, no, no, no. Did not want to do that. At least we got. Ah, oh, okay. Alright, let's do this. It's over here. Hmm, there we have to go. Get this? Nope. The shrimps. What is over here? What is over here? Are these guys friendlies? What is this? Whoa, hey. Where'd you come from? Uh don't go ambling out in those hills. That's marauder territory, friend. Yeah, I checked. Your pod? Yeah. 
What are you on about? You take a bruise to the cranium? Ain't safe out here. You'd best head into town. Avail yourself of Edgewater's high walls and low, low prices. Mm -hmm. Uh. Do they pay? Okay, I never got your name, Henry Gillette. Do they pay you to travel with strangers? Why? Well, nice to meet you, Alex. Not hot throwing captain, the unreliable. Is that why you got a pair of arm guards? Uh, hmm. They're high walls and low prices. Let's try this. Pleased to make your acquaintanceship. I'd shake your hand, but I've been hauling corpses. You don't want none of that on you. Name's Silas. Junior in humor for the town nice of Edgewater. You, We're all part of the Spacer's Choice family. Nice. All right. Uh, who do I talk to about a power regulator? I'm looking to make a little money while I'm here. The space looks like it's falling in pieces. Junior in humor. Fancy dollar for a grave digger. Wow. Uh. Let's be honest. Definitely not the junior in humor, that's for sure. If you've got business inquiries, you should stop by Reed Thompson's office. He's up in the tower above the cannery. Head into town, follow All the right. road. Look, you obviously ain't a worker. What's your racket? You a smuggler? Freelancer? Freelancer. I do what I want. It depends on the work. Edgewater is a company town, board owned and operated. That includes the cemetery. None of us own our grave sites, we rent them from the company. Renting means money. Money means paperwork. Paperwork means signatures. Some of our families become a might delinquent in paying their dues, you see. Okay. You want me to collect wires owed to you? I can do that. You're making people pay for their own graves? Whew. Why can't you collect these fees yourself? Let me ask you something else. Let's see. Four workers still haven't paid up. Phyllis, Conrad, Ludwig, and Martin Abernathy. All right, Abernathy, Conrad, Ludwig. a special Phyllis. case. You may want to twist his arm a little. Yeah, you got it. Uh, what's Abernathy? He just is. Look, I don't want to get into it. Just make sure he pays up. Gotcha. Uh, Conrad's got a barbershop in town. Phyllis works at the cannery most hours. Abernathy... I ain't seen him in a few days. His domicile is near the cannery. You'll find him in town. All except Ludwig, that is. He's over by the landing pad. All right. Yeah? Uh... The colony ship? Are you talking about that old rumor? Some great big starship packed full of colonists what got lost in the Aether never to be found again? Yeah. <laughs> Ain't heard that one since I was but a stripling. Can't say it was terribly convincing, far as rumors go. Is there a reason you're asking? Uh. All right, easy now. Yeah, you don't need to get your hat off. off. Maybe you've been out in the sun too long. Mm, not it. Why don't you head over to the cantina? Get yourself some zero okay. G brew. It's a brew that's good for what ails you. Mm. So the colony was expecting us. Let's change the subject. This is ridiculous. <laughs> Something I can do for you? Okay. Uh. Yeah. No, I can't see that. Former people, yeah. Marauders been raiding my graves, you see. Hence the armed guards. Or that from Luke. If you have a marauder problem, I can take care of it. Yep, that's folk. Oh no. They are after the most precious loot of all. Spacer's Choice Company property. Mm. If those marauders swipe any more bodies out of my cemetery, the company's gonna duck my pay. Hang on, I'm doing some math in my head. Uh, 20, <laughs> Carry the one, uh, all my life. <laughs> Work's been real good to me. Fresh air, exercise. Only problem is the paperwork. Can't get anybody to pay their gravesite fees. You could look at it that way, okay. I suppose. Who's mad about it? You could look at us and say, those Edgewater saps lost near every soul to plague. But you'd be wrong. We're survivors. 
Loyal company folk, brave in the wilds. Mm-hmm. Every now and again, a virulent plague sweeps through our town. That's life on the frontier, I suppose. A body grows accustomed. All right, I gotta go, buddy. Thank you for the help. All right, back to the quest. Uh, yep, there you go. Stranger in the strange land, completed. Uh, right. I mean, what's this small grave? Let's try this. Let's try to collect some, uh, you know. Okay, let's try to do this. Sup? I could really go for some salt tuna. Uh, hmm, okay, cool. What do you got? Really go for some oh, Kirk, come on, man. Just go to the... Okay. Okay, what do we got over here? So, I gotta really... figure out my bearings. Uh, that's where we have to go. That's Martin Abernathy, Conrad Sadek, Phyllis Granger. Alright, what do you guys have to... Transition to Edgewater. Wait a minute. Uh... I'm doing that mission, right? Hmm. Here's the map. That's the objective, right? Which one is... That's the... Okay. Oh, Abernathy. Okay, cool, 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 cool. Okay, good. Emerald Veil. God, I love, the, love the, like, the, you know, the steampunk sort of thing. It's actually pretty awesome. Cyberpunk. Not cyberpunk, it's like, yeah, space punk. It's, it has that really cool feel to it. I love these sort of, I love that sort of design, you know, game design. So far, I'm really enjoying this game. So far, I mean, even though it's been like a few, you know, minutes, but yeah. Hmm. What up? Spacer's choice takes care of its own. Mm-hmm. Keep your distance, friend. Sick house is no place for a traveler. Okay, I, oh, look at that, man. Look at that. Uh, okay, so, uh, I'm one of the sort of players that likes to, you know, oh, barbershop. Wait. I need the haircut. Wait, what do we have in here? Nothing. Anything in here? Like, I don't want to steal anything because I don't want to do that. Uh, okay, yo. Cut my hair. Please don't touch anything. Your hands are probably crawling with germs. You're a farmer, douche. Physical hygiene recapitulates moral hygiene. Cleanliness is next to lawfulness. Okay. No, thank you. That's quite all right. I've seen enough body parts in my line of work. <laughs> I'm Conrad. You will report to me if your hair fails to meet Spacer's Choice aesthetic standards. You will also report to me in the event of your death, whereupon I will clean and prepare your remains for interment. Hmm. Ah, gravesite fees. Silas and I had talked about this at length. I thought I'd made it clear my pecuniary situation precludes the necessary restitutions. No, it doesn't. Uh... I mean that I can't possibly pay my gravesite fees. I simply cannot afford it. I am a blemish on the prosperity of our fair settlement. When I expire, I expect Silas to toss my body into a ditch. Okay. What do I do? I don't care. Pay up. Okay, that seems a bit. Uh, you have a very loose definition of the word prosperity. You want some quality drama? Conrad, you should audition. Don't be sorry. So, I'll try this. Thank you, no. I despise the cereals. Tell Silas I can't afford to pay. And that I fully expect to have my medical rights revoked for this dereliction. With my apologies. Wait. Some time ago, I fell ill with the plague. By the grace of the law, and through my own hard work, I'd proven worthy of treatment. Frankly, I don't imagine I'll earn that right a second time. The barber work hasn't been profitable, you see. I've had to keep this old place running with my own savings.
Not a bad idea. But I'd need some kind of collateral. My pair of lucky clippers. No, that won't do. Your idea intrigues me, but I'm afraid I don't have anything to give Silas. I'm open to suggestions. Mm. Uh, yeah, I'll think of something. Much obliged. All right, brother, I got that thing done. Uh, Phyllis Granger, Martin Abernathy. This dude is, uh... Dear God, what the hell did you do? The reception shot, so this is bad. Company's going to have got it for what it is. Instruction of spacious choice property. Eugene was an asset, and somebody has to pay his body price. This is going to ruin us. So I was thinking that we pawn off his teeth. Okay, this is getting pretty gruesome. All right, guys, uh, check yourself. That's the big mirror. Oh no. What is in here? Hey. I appreciate the company and all, but you really ought to leave. You don't want to be seen around me. And why is there? Because I'm sick. You don't want to associate with people in the sick house. We're not worth your time. I'm in about as much trouble as I can be. No reason you ought to be tarnished by association. People are gonna talk. She said that, so that means I want to help. Why? What's going on here? I don't know which company you work for, but if it's Spacer's Choice, Boss can still write you up for fraternizing with an incompetent worker. Maybe you don't know this, but there's a real simple reason you don't talk to the plagued. You don't want what we've got. Medical. Don't. Please. I could get into a lot of trouble. People trouble. Lazy worker like me getting special treatment from some out-of-town physiker like you. People will talk. Company always tells us weak spirits lead to weak bodies. If I didn't want to fall sick with plague, maybe I should have worked harder. Maybe okay. I should have taken more pride in my work. Nope. I'm not gonna go for that. Uh... I really wish you wouldn't say those sorts of things. I told you once already. People could be listening. I'm feeling a touch faint. If you don't mind, I'd like to be alone for a spell. Okay. Hey, buddy. Huh? Hey. Okay. Uh, Another day at the cannery. Don't go knocking your work. At least we've got work. Do we do, huh? I mean, okay, so in terms of the journal, uh, Conrad, he can see my way. This is Silas. You found a note from Phyllis to Concord. Conrad, Concord. Uh, you can use that from it to convince Conrad to pay his. How do I give this fee to him? That's what I'm trying to figure out. One second. What can I do for you? Uh. Hmm. You know about Eugene? How? This, uh... Then, you know Phyllis suggested selling off Eugene's gold teeth. I didn't approve of the idea then, and I don't approve of it now. Well, he's dead. Eugene's golden teeth were a family heirloom, oh. representing three generations of <laughs> poor dental hygiene. He took them to his grave. That's unthinkable. Eugene's body and all rare earth minerals contained therein are solely the property of Spacer's choice. 
I can't ask Silas to dig up a man's body and pry a few teeth loose from his jaw just to pay my bills. Can I? Yes. Yes, I suppose I must. Done. Here you are. Gravesite papers affixed with my signature and an IOU. So he's doing business. Business. All right, brother. All right, now I'm trying to figure out what these guys have. Uh, what do we explore around here? What's this? A friend of mine died a couple weeks back. Still ain't past it. Ladies and gentlemen, you're ahead. Welcome to the Spacer's Choice Constabulary. We are Halcyon's leading brand in frontier justice. The office is writing up promotion. Purchase three criminal investigations and the fourth one's free. Hmm. As long as your questions fall within the acceptable margins of curiosity. Hope to God they do. Uh, is Nefinis Rosemary in the do you think? Uh... His likeness decorates many a wanted poster. Do you have any relevant information about this individual? <laughs> hmm. Because these guys sent me free stuff. I'm probably going to be double crossing. He can have me. Unfortunately, I've already shot me in the space. Then I land here. Ah, forget it. Uh, what's in here? Nothing special, nothing special. What is this? Bounty records. Huh. What's this? Alright. Hmm. What's the job? Interesting jumpsuit you've got. And by interesting, I mean suspiciously reminiscent of contraband. Ah, uh, uh, come on. Uh, yep. As a Spacer's Choice Constable, I am authorized to grant you legal authority toward apprehending wanted criminals. Know how to carry yourself in a fight? I've got bounties out for these three marauders. Cross them off and bring me their fingers. Just one per marauder, please. I'll dust off the old fingerprint roller. Done. Almost lost a finger in the cannery today. All right. I want to explore every nook and cranny in this game. What's in here? Uh huh. What's this? Okay. Ah, I need this. What is this? Oh, I get uh, upgrade weapons. Uh, do I install a mod in this? No mod to this. No mod to this. No mod to this. Oh. Okay. Pick five seconds. Wait a minute. Sis ah no no I do not want to do that. A waste. Yeah. Okay. <clears throat> Anybody home? Take off. Uh yep. Nope. Nothing in here, nothing in here. Later later. In here. Okay, nothing uh, to finesse in here. I need this. Is it? Nope, nothing in here. Okay, what's in here? Light ammo. Okay, nothing to uh Oh, okay, can't do that. Okay. So right now I'm exploring a few things. Hey, you hear about Wilson? 
Where's Marauders gone? Just between us, Wilson deserted. Lost his nerve. Ran off in the thick of night. Okay, good. Yeah. Saltuna, all right, those two guards need Saltunas, don't they? Space of choice, that's the Saltuna cannery, all right. What's in here? Huh. Okay, so I'm guessing that's, okay. okay let's go to Martin. Abernathy, let's see what this guy has. Yes, Mr. Thompson. I'm fine, Mr. Thompson. Let's see if we can get some info before we, uh, you know. Okay, brother, we gotta talk. Whoa, uh, did, uh, did Mr. Thompson send you? Nope. Well, you tell Mr. Thompson I'll be right at my post. Tomorrow. Uh, bright and early tomorrow. Because I'm definitely not plagued. As spry as a spring chicken. <laughs> That's old Abernathy. Okay. And what are you doing here? Visiting? Well, let me give you the grand tour. This here's my domicile. And there's the door. <laughs> hmm. Silas knows, doesn't he? That's why he sent you. Yep. That's why he wants me to pay up. He knows. Should I use it? Hmm. Knows what? He knows what? Sounds like he's already told you. You may as well hear it from me. I'm dying. I'm not long for this world. The date of my expiration is fast approaching. And soon I shall be ushered through the great cannery in the skies. It's plague. Has to be. Silas knows. He knows I got one foot in my grave and now he wants to charge me for the other one. You are? Yeah. Oh, wow. First time anyone's ever told me that. <laughs> well, you know. I'll pay your fees. I don't want any trouble from Silas. That was easy. But if you could see a way to freelancing for me, I could really use the help. Uh. Couple hours out of your day and some light second story work. That's all. There's a cache of anthracillin tucked away in the old community center. Mm -hmm. Powerful stuff. Stronger than what we got, anyway. I need you to break in, nab that medicine, and bring it back to me. I'll do what I can. You will not find any guards within sight of that old place. Marauders, on the other hand. Mm -hmm. It is a reality of life in the Vale. Grass is brown, sky is gray. Marauders are outside the walls. <sighs> I tried medicating myself with Adrena time. Didn't do much for me, as far as I can tell. Anyway, I can't just buy medicine. Distribution of medicine is strictly prohibited to any workers beneath the acceptable what kind of margin of health. Republic is this? Company <laughs> policy. All right. Uh... Tell myself the same thing yeah, every bro. morning. You've seen those young workers at the cannery? What with their unbent spines and pristine knee joints? I can't compete with that. Right. So you'll do it then? Mm. All right. You oblige me with your haste. I think I feel the plague spreading. Oh, Lord, it's in my spleen now. I can feel it. Okay. Oh, yeah. Just keep your head down when you're in there. Marauders have taken over. 
Probably tracking mud all over the archives. Uh -huh. I know that, but I got nobody else to turn to. I'm the guy with the gun, Reed so... would have wrote me up. Constable would have locked me up and wrote me up. Could have gone to see the good vicar, but I never did find... Okay. One thing we figured out is this space kind of uh, skips the conversation. You're making a mistake working for Adam. All right, where's Phyllis Granger? Uh, Excuse me. I'm Esther Blaine, Spacer's Choice Actuary. I overheard your talk with Abernathy. I hope you're not thinking about getting him that medicine. Why? Abernathy is a well-known hypochondriac. Anthracillin is wasted on him. You're better off selling it to me instead. And, uh... I probably shouldn't tell you. Don't want you implicated for what I'm trying to do. All right. Here's a summary. A lot of sick people in this town, and we don't have the medicine to treat them all. Can't reach out to corporate without crossing a river of red tape, so I'm reaching out to you. I'm paid better than Abernathy. Whatever he's giving you, I will do you one better. That's all I can ask of you. Okay, so that means uh, I have to pick up the meds and either give it to her or him. Alright, to Esther Blaine. Alright. Esther, let's see what we can do about that. Uh, so I'll turn the canary. Let me make sure we. Okay, there's another place. Okay, so there's a. Sartunas. What's this? This like the local church. Oh. Hey there, Mary. Don't see you round here too often. Oh, I just came right. to talk to the vicar. Is all. I'm guessing you're the guy I need to talk to. Yes, what is it? You're an outsider. Fantastic. Vicar Maximilian de Soto at your service. Or Vicar Max, if you're the sort who prefers brevity. Pretty badass I so name. rarely get new people to talk to. Name your poison, anything at all. Spiritual counseling, this season's tossball predictions, the quickest way out of town. Uh. Not to put too fine a point on it, but your choice of wardrobe is not precisely common hereabouts. Also, this is my thread, you lack the distinctive worker gaze. Usually either a deadening behind the eyes, or in some rare cases, a wild-eyed frenzy, like a trapped animal. Okay. Uh, what would you like to discuss? Mechanical tomfoolery is well out of my purview. I suggest you take such matters to Mr. Tobson right, the in the cannery. Where it is. cannery. Oh, and a word of warning. If you're considering wandering around... Why is that? Marauders are about. Oh. One of the reasons I transferred here was to... I happen to know such a book is, as we speak, tainting a collector's library in Emerald Vale. However, the collector's residence lies outside the town's walls. My retrieval efforts have been thwarted by marauders who have overrun the property. Should you fare better than me, I'd pay a handsome sum for the book. A handsome sum, you say? Tell me more. Why would be, uh, Vicar be after the band? Her heretic book? Heretic book? I don't know. So you want to burn it once you get your hands on it? I just want to keep the writing out of layman's hands. It wouldn't do for such information to fall into public consumption. It's a handwritten journal, a faded blue cover with the name M. Bakonu handwritten in the lower corner. I'll mark where I saw it on your map. Assuming you're serious? It is not only a beautiful relic of a bygone time, 
It's also the thoughts of an early thinker on the nature of man's place in the cosmos. Not many in this colony could understand its true value. Should they ever read it. Uh. Thank you. If you retrieve it, you can always find right. me here. You got some good uh, quests. Okay, so let's just try to finish this one off. Now, the uh, second, this is in the canary. The canary. I think we can go from here, can we? Oh, vending machine. Oh, there it is. Uh, okay. Oh, lots of fancy schmancies in here. All right. You sell anything? I don't want to sell so later. I think we have to go up top. Oh, there you go. Oh me. You the new oh. worker? Whatever. Make it quick, tenderfoot. I'm busy. Hold up. Shit. Silas still on about that. Here, take the fees. Oh. I'd appreciate it if you didn't tell Reed I was late on my payment. Because they're not my fees and not my gravesite. Guy I worked with shot himself. I paid the bill. Okay. I could do without the sarcasm. Wasn't acting out of the goodness of I my heart. I wasn't being sarcastic. Either. Law requires delinquent gravesite fees to be paid by the deceased party's closest living relative, which meant me. Shame, though. Eugene was a good worker. Woke up one morning and put a round through his upper story. Can't imagine why. Okay. Just between the two of us, I'm pretty sh Eugene wasn't family. Yeah, I was the closest living person relative to his body at time of death. <laughs> I'm the one who found him, you see. So, suicide's a crime. When one of your workers commits a crime, the entire town pays for it. Wow. In other words, Edgewater would have been penalized pretty hard. Whatever Eugene was worth as an asset, we would have had to pay out of pocket to Spacer's choice. <sighs> Look around. Edgewater ain't exactly swimming in luxury. We can't afford to pay the body price of a suicide. All I know is Silas asked me for Eugene's gravesite fees, which means he was approved for burial, which means his papers went through, which means the town's in the clear. I'm just glad to put this whole ugly okay, affair back. Cool. All right, thank you for the conversation. Now we're gonna find this uh, Ludwig guy. What's in here? Wait, what the sh Welcome for this. Uh, I have sanctioned your access to. In the event of contagion, as you know, the company has not provided us with enough medicine to treat every worker. I wish I could treat every member of the Space Choice family who fell ill to this plague, but I cannot. Medical privileges are strictly merit based. Please do not, under any circumstance, distribute your ration of medication to any other worker. We're on together. All right. Lots of uh, bad people. There you go. Hmm. What's up? Uh, oh, there it is. Turn it up. Thank God. Uh, now, in terms of the maps. Some objective over there. Ah, okay, so no, I need to go to. Okay, so where? Yeah, right. So I got. I go to. Uh, once I pick the objective, that's when the beacon. Yeah. The only source of protein in. A busy work at night. When buying something from a vendor, your best dialogue skill pers life pers are intimate. You're automatically used to negotiate. Alright, <coughs> raising your sneak. Alright, let's do this. Some Marudras in here. I gotta turn off motion blur because it's genuinely annoying.
Hello, baby. Got you. Do not want to. Yep, we don't want to waste anything on this. What's in the top? What's in here? What's in here? What's in here? Nothing. Anything fancy schmancy? What's this? Nico Pad, let's take that. We need this, need this. Oh, no, we can open that. No, Nico Pad. Okay, so. Wait a minute. You just said he's over there, right? Oh, it's like all the way over there. Alright. So I've traveled all the way over there? Damn it. We can find some murders. Edgewater Cemetery. Let's go. Taste of freedom? <laughs> Yo, I need your fees, mate. Thank the law. I've been requisitioning backup for months. Guess the boss finally came to his senses. Uh, you ever swung a truncheon? Let me see your rifling stance. I want to make sure you're up to snuff. I told Silas I'd pay my dues if he agreed to join the resistance. Guess this means he's finally heard the calling. Yep. I'm talking about mechanical soldier. Cold, heartless automatons made of iron and lies. Uh. Just my luck. I asked for backup and the boss sends me one of them simple folk. All right. Listen real close. Auto mechanical. Yeah, I know what that is. Creatures forged in the fires of malevolence. I seen them over by the old power plant, clattering about, firing at the birds. When the swarms of mechanicals come clanging on over that hill, where will you be? Cowering beneath your cot? Or standing oh, shoulder to shoulder with the yep. resistance. The Terminator. Uh, if you need resistance, need another gun on for hire. Go on. You ever seen the way a mechanical just stands there? Oh, he's just racist. Just looking at you, scanning you with its murderous oculus. Racist. Mm. Mechanicals have been programmed to eliminate the human race. They've been programmed to replace us. First, they will rob us of our jobs. And once they have taken away our livelihoods, they will take away our very lives. Okay. I've been gathering up a war chest over the years. So tuna cans, mostly. Some spaces chaw. Few bit cards. Our reward. Proper armies pay. Ah, uh, there you go. Enlistment fees. Yeah, I suppose. Wouldn't want to give the resistance a bad name. Absolutely. They have sent a scout prowling around the junkyard just behind our beloved town. The scout must not be permitted to return to its base of upper. Mechanical's got a weak spot in their midsections. I think the technical term is um the blue glowy square thing. Okay, so we got most of this thing done. What do we have in here? We can't steal any of this, nor should we. Hey, I. What do you think you're doing? Sorry. Uh. Hmm. 
baby. Oh, okay, close. I did that by mistake. Sorry. Sorry, Ludwig. What does that sign mean? One second. Uh, I know what it means, but okay. So let's go to this guy. I got your fees, mate. Fancy threads. That some kind of hibernation suit. Yeah? What about him? Yeah. Funny thing, Eugene's body ain't where it's supposed to be. The night we were supposed to commend his body to the earth, I had his grave all dug up and ready, right? And so I thought, I'll just rest my eyes a bit. When I woke up, his body was gone, spirited away, vanished. Let me know if you find anything. Okay. You run into any trouble? Reliable work from a freelancer. That's gonna take some getting used to. Mm. And I'll buy you a drink sometime. There you go. Uh, suppose you've earned it. One good turn deserves another. Take care, bro. We're done? Okay, let's go. Now we do... What do we do? Let's go to journals. Probably this. Uh, yeah, this guy, and then we got side quests. Die robot long tomorrow. Mm-hmm. Let's try this one. This is the Dujats. Let's try the one that is over there. So, so far, it's just, I mean, this is like the initial, you know, few minutes of the game. But I, you know, I, I enjoy these sort of, you know, steampunkish games. They're pretty, uh, it's like British humor, you know? Damn it. Okay. These are bounties on there. Okay, that thing is, has the range, you know, the worst range ever. Okay, round two. What's up? Is there any way to like... Nope. Alright, round two. Okay, let's do this now. Uh, 
Got the weirdest threads ever. All right, uh, let's go to the journale. Just some digits. Let's see where our PP pistol can do anything. That dude's over there. What's his name again? Birdie Cotton. Okay. Is there any way that I can get up? Uh, probably there is a way. Mm. Stick him out. Gently. Pop off from. Oh, no, 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 I need to change this weapon. It's such a bad weapon. Do we do we get that one? We got one of those, right? Nope. Do it again. Okay, go, 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 go. Uh, where are you, mate? So I'm guessing I gotta take one of your fingers, right, and then just rush out. Is there any way to like? No. Is there any way to? What's this? How do you melee someone in this game? Not that. I remember that you can melee someone. Oh, what's the? Oh, there has to be. There was something I remember in the bindings. Uh, T. All right, it's like miles away from you. <coughs> okay. So this is like. Some weapon with you besides this how can we get like more damage in your weapons but i don't get all right whatever uh what's up hey may i want your fingers mate Okay, we're going. 
Come on. There you go. Run, Forrest, run. Okay, no. No shortcuts. Uh. Ha. Nope. Gotta run, gotta run, gotta run, gotta run, gotta run. right okay got one of these uh collect oh yeah okay turn in that and then collect gulum anthem's finger and okay so we need to get this guy doc maybe all right let's just get all of them skill points available let's do a bit of health That, that, yeah, I kind of need to build this one up. Please don't let me do that thing. Okay, good. Okay, good. Oh, no, no, no. Back it up, back it up, back it up, back it up, back it up. We take the long route. All right. What's, uh, okay. Let's go over there. Alright, so we avoided those. Uh, um, <laughs> no, 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 back it up, back it up. Okay, uh. Is that Marauder? Yep, Marauder Vandale. <laughs> Guy right there. this I have so many of these I need to kind of drop so, uh, uh, apply yes accept nice uh, inventory we got these two things oh we got oh we got hunting rifle. let's put this bad boy over here uh, let's take this over here let's uh, this over here so we probably need spares right okay cool Okay, I like this rifle. There was someone else that we got over here, didn't we? Someone was rushing toward that. Ah, there you go. Uh, no. Okay, good. So, how much damage does this have? <coughs> 53, okay. This is, uh, yeah, having a bit of issues. Let's do this. Yeah. Okay. So let's see if we can snipe 
dock me over here. Oh no no no, I hear, I hear that gorilla thingy. Okay, avoid it, avoid it, avoid it. Geothermal power plant discovered, alright. <clears throat> I don't think we can make it over there right now. I'll just stick to the mission. I think this is the thing that I had to destroy, right? The mechanical sentry, the Ludwig cat was, you know, complaining about. Attack me, man. What's over here? <laughs> Just gonna back it up. Let's just focus on this. to go down what's with the exit helmet armor management all right oh cool uh, I need to repair it don't I yeah I need to kind of repair this gym toy Okay. Now we walk in one and then two. Fancy schmancy moves. Uh, I think I got a new weapon, right? Yes, I did. I got a. Ooh, okay. Let's put this thing over here. This thing has 73, but it has 41. Let's just take a this. I don't know what this. Okay. Let's, I need to repair this weapon. Uh, mean that. Did I get the... Uh, yes, I think I did. Okay, come on, jump off. Uh, anything else in here? Sort of short... Okay, that's... I think I have this, don't I? Yeah. Alright. Drop down, let's go after... How do you pronounce it? Like Guillermo, so it's gonna be Guillermo del Toro. It's gonna be Guillom. Guillom. There you go. Guillom. Guillom Antrim. Okay. Scout. Pretty good. Scout down. Ah, come on. Damn you, gravity. Gravity. Okay. Uh. What is that? What is that? What is that? It's a leather. You better not be walking towards me. You better not. Help me. Stay away from me, homie. What's in here? Need to. 
pick the lock. Huh. Looks like uh, something happened over here. Is this like the... Yeah. Hmm. Okay. What's in here? Nope, this is closed. Nothing over here. Let's go over there. To Gyal... Yeah. Gyalom. It's not the best choice. It's Spacer's choice. Alright. Very pathetic handgun you got there. Oh, what was that? Oza, Oza, Oza. Holy mother. Oh, no, 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 no. Uh, this dude has a. Uh, hmm. Fancy schmancy moves. Okay. You have plenty of cool stuff in here. What do you have? Nothing. Uh, I got one to use over here. Okay, what did I get in it? Okay, now probably not. Consumables. Uh, hmm. Yeah, let's kind of build some health up without using up our Mac pack. Get this. Did I get it? Yes, I did. Okay, Mr. Gulam Antrin. Okay, I thought you could, uh, alright. I'm, I like this, uh. Oh! I did not mean to do that. Floozy. Let's get back in. Let's see what else we can do. Can we sneak past these guys? Uh, huh. right. Okay, this is, this is a bit more. Yeah, this is a bit challenging. Not a bit, pretty challenging, but. Can we park her up here? Nope. The old traditional way of uh hey. So that mm -hmm. Constable Reyes, uh we do have to face the guy with the minigun. We also have to take those two guys down. That's not a bit of an issue. What is an issue is that down in front of me. I mean, it's not. Is it the same? Uh, I can just go from here. Primal nest. Okay, I'm not. I don't want to go over there. This is the town that I have to really watch out of. Watch out for. 
because yeah. Hey, yeah, see, <laughs> see that guy right there. That's him. No, that's not him. So what I'm gonna do is I'm going to try my best in sneaking around the map. This is these mines okay let's try to eat some foods yeah I know uh, uh, is there any way like bypass this these mines or whatever okay maybe I don't know Adrena time? Yeah, yeah, I'll get you some. Let's see if I can survive this so far. Okay, let me get out of here. Okay. I need to. Yep, I need to get some armor. Uh. What do I do? 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 Ah, oh. no encore! I did it! Did I do it? Did I do it? Did I do it? Zoe, did I do it? Wow, you crossed them all off like some sort of heroic accountant running down a list. In my Teach first me your shot. ways. Uh. Oh, well, that's a shame. I mean, I could pay you in Adrena time, but I've already bartered most of my stash over to these poor saps. I like Adrena. you on the other hand you were a sight to behold oh, if I had half no. your skills I'd be the greatest outlaw the coast has ever seen well, you know I'm great at clarifying all right uh... I don't know the vital processes that constitute the miracle of life are mysterious and unknowable oh you mean around these guys the marauders wouldn't hurt me. They love me. I'm practically their queen. Yeah, must be my natural charisma. Mm. I may have bartered them a few boxes of Adrena time, but yeah, I'm sure that's got nothing to do with it. Okay, are you a prisoner here? Are you from Edgewater? There was something else, actually. 
Uh... I got kicked out of Edgewater on account of falling sick with plague and stealing some medicine to treat myself. I'd heard some outlaws set up camp in the botanical labs. I decided to throw in with them, seeing as I always wanted to be an outlaw myself. Instead, what do I find? But a bunch of former workers camped out around a greenhouse. I couldn't just go back to the cannery, so I was stuck with them. Uh, no. No? I insinuated myself into their company, see? And they didn't seem to mind one whit. Okay. I've got all the time in Halcyon. Okay. So... I have nothing. Sorry. Thought you gave me an option. Alright, I'll be on my way. I'll win my way. I'll win my way. I'll win... Okay, uh... Now, since I was in here, because, uh... I need to repair my weapons, uh, like... Urgently. I need some of these bread noodles. Noodle doodles. Uh, what is. Oh, okay. It's, <laughs> it's an air fresher. Alright. You know, it's a. Did you have something also? Yeah. Heavy armor. Okay. Nice. What's this? Okay, so what's the difference between this? If I compare this with... Uh, actually, this I don't know. Hmm. Light, medium, five. This has more value. It's in better condition. Mm. What is this? This needs to be repaired. I'll go with this for now because I need a. Uh, Actually, let's go with this because I need to repair both of these. Okay, so we got this done. Uh, I know, right? Like the Fedwix. Now I need to go to. If I got my drone, I've done this. I need to. Okay, done all this. Now I need to turn all of these already. Uh, before we do that, what else can we... Fast travel to this point? Oh, yes, we can. Bro, we need fast travel over here. Fine. Oh, hey, Raul. Sorry. Uh, I didn't check out the call. Sorry, I didn't uh, see the. Sorry, the, 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 <clears throat> the comments, but I was actually playing this game right now, uh, later. I actually want to do a bit of a long play for this game. You know? I've been feeling pretty low these days. Hey, what up? Something to report? Yup. We pay by the finger. Here we are, Birdie Cotton. Cause of death, 
let's just say overwhelming physical trauma. Bert was the local preacher before Max took over. Always was quick to remind us. I'll just need your signet. Mabel Burgess, age 37. I remember. Still one outstanding. Gil, I remember. Well, that's a. You've done such a bang-up job hunting down our former workers that I thought it only proper to deputize you. Congratulations. Oh, okay. Uh... Let me stop you there. It is official Spacer's Choice policy that all Marauders, regardless of prior affiliation to the Spacer's Choice brand, no longer qualify as our people. Okay. Ever since the company first settled the veil, Life's good out here, but it ain't easy. Some folk can't keep pace with the demands of frontier life. Not everyone's cut out to work in Edgewater. Some turn deserter, some turn marauder. None of them get my sympathy. Uh... Uh-huh. I recall young Eugene. Good kid. Says so right on the warning label. Violent psychosis is a well-documented and legally accounted for side effect of Adrena time. Okay. What's on your mind? Okay, uh... I'm done with you. How, how do I... Uh, no, how do I... Uh, I need to get to like... Oh, okay, there you go. There's a... I think I know where I have to go. Uh, Wish we had some better rations. Go workbench modification. So to this. Is this for this? Okay. Hmm. I think for this, the shotgun, I want to put more. Yeah, because uh, this has zero, literally the worst repair. There you go. You need to repair these weaponons. Uh, uh, Do I need to repair this? Nope. Not right now. I don't have the uh, missing. Okay, so. Anything I can install on you? I can. Can I repair this? Yes, I need to. Re oh, I need to. Yeah. Okay. I have 384. And uh, this. Okay, repair, break down. Can we break down these ones? Uh, let's break down these, these, and these. There you go. Nope. So no, okay. Now that we are in, what's in the cantina? Let's look. At what's in this bar over here? Actually, before we do that, because I'm I have a feeling that it's the loan tomorrow. So it's in the loan tomorrow. That's out of this map. Yeah, I feel if I go to the cantina, there will be a mission. And uh, you know your boy likes to explore the game. So let's just try to finish these off. Yeah. So far, really enjoying this game. You know? have to go 333 meters from there okay
I mean, there are stability issue, instability issues in this game. I've noticed that you know, people are having... Uh, I mean, you kind of expect this in these, sort of, uh, in these sort of games that you have these like optimization issues. It's a pretty common thing. Fallout is a game that now runs way better. Or like two, two, uh, 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 two years after it was re released, you know, ran way better. Properly optimized. Uh, so yeah. Uh, anything fancy in here? I really enjoy the sniper. It's a pretty fun sniper to have. Oh, is this the place? No, it isn't. Please don't be that good. Bodies of my enemies. Okay, there's one. Okay, no. Uh, I need some of this, this, that. I think I got a few over here. Uh, yeah, I need all of this. Okay. Oh, wait. No, I forget. So if I, I feel if I go over here, that's right. Defense, obvious. Dialogue, yes. You always uh, do this one. Uh, she's ranged. You pump this, pump those numbers up. Uh, Sword rifle. Oh, we got a cool weapon. One second. We got the cool weapon. Uh, there you go. Let's put it over here. There. Okay. <laughs> uh, that one will be okay. Mining helmet. Uh, oh, let's take this one. Do we need this? I mean, if I just drop it over here, it doesn't really do make a difference. I'd like to uh, look cool. Okay, cache of medicine. That is the mission that we are doing. Long tomorrow. Let's see if there's like anything, you know. Behind, if there's like an entrance behind this. Oh, no, 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 no. Oh, come on. Wait, is this 
that's a new weapon? Yes, it is. Okay, now that we, uh, you know, did that. This defo. I think we can get over here. Uh, what struggling is this? This is 173 DPS. Uh, let's sell one of my shotguns. Where is that shotgun? Where is that shotgun? It's a little weapons. Oh, I can't sell it. Damn it. Uh, okay. So this is very cool shotgun over here. Light, okay, uh, but I can't sell that one, can I? I can't sell the one that I, the, the, yeah. I mean, I could sell this, let me sell this. How to sell it? I can't. This is like Fallout, where it's like you. There's like a piece. Of, it's like a chunk of meat on the ground, and you like get like a heavy armor or whatever. It's the funniest mechanic in the game. Scanner. Okay. Hmm. Do I need this? Guess I do. One second. Do not want to do. This is barred from here. I kind of want to explore everything before I gotta make my decision. I think this dude was like the boss. Okay. 
you had nothing, you had something. Alright. Pocket watch. What did you have? Light ammo. That. Okay. What is this? I have this already. Right before them. What's this? Hmm. I mean, ain't bad. Let's see what we can do with this. Here's the TV. We got in a maze. I don't want to do. I kind of want to explore this area. Let's see what else can we find in here. So there's also a place, yeah, if you go up there. Hmm. Generally, if you're over here, light ammo. This leads down. I'll make sure everything's, you know, good in here. This probably helps us. Uh, ah. The cartridge. Alright, so now we get down to the lower levels. This pathetic weapon. Uh hold on a second. Okay, we came from this side. Okay, from this side. This is all that remains. Is this area over here? Over here. Over here. Uh, standard troop helmet. Okay, we get. We gotta get this. Uh, let's see what the troop helmet is. I like it. Put it with this. It's pretty awesome. Okay. What's this? It's a baton. I think I would rather because that dude's dying and uh, I would rather give it to her you know he's already that what's his name the yeah one of those guys or Mitage or whatever I'm gonna, I'm gonna give it to the girl that was outside his house <clears throat> I think that's better Okay, so I'm pretty close, and then we're gonna jump into like the first mission, I think. Uh, yeah, I'd rather give it to Esther. I think uh, the people deserve it mostly because uh, like oh, there she is. Somebody's been running around town raving about a colony ship. Plague must have gone into their brain matter. <sighs> oh, I'm an actuary. That means I keep tabs on a worker's living expenses. How much it costs to feed, clothe, shelter, bury, and replace your average human worker. Technically, I'm employed by the Spacer's Choice Department of Human Resources. Thanks. I'll see to it that this medicine gets to the people who need it. Here, something for your trouble. Nothing personal, but I hope we never do business together again. Don't want to make a habit of consorting with smuggler types. All right, I get you. Hmm. 
You do have some cheek on you. Lucky for you, I kept a little contingency fee in case you tried to negotiate with me. Okay. Somebody deserving. Silas, on account of him being out in the cold. Amelia, seeing how she's around people all the time. Anybody in... Okay. Nice pleasure doing business with you. Uh, what do we do now? We gotta repair this. I'm actually gonna repair our suit. I want to repair my suit is... Uh, yeah. I mean, I want a better... I want these things hanging over around my body. It's kind of weird, but, you know. Uh, let's go to journal. Now we got Die Robot and Illustrated Man. Let's do Die Reboot. What's the companion quest? So I have to probably go with them or something? What's the... Uh, the cantina. I really want to go there, but the only reason I'm not going in here is because if I open this, more objectives. See, there's this Winslow guy, then there's Amelia, and then there's these. The latest oh, wait, report. knowing that it's these two, but yeah. The part that me making our quotas. So let's just uh, do these two missions, and then yeah, let's see. <laughs> I need to repair. Let's see if I can find a way to. Yeah, so if I go, yeah, I need to go to that point. Over. Sometimes I wonder what I'm doing with myself. Okay, so let's just avoid anyone without a name. With a name, sorry. Uh, suit. I can't do it. Okay, so. I can repair. Why is it not saying I can't repair? Okay, so. Uh, Hmm. Says to repair the thing. I'm actually pressing. Okay. Maybe not. <clears throat> All right. Into that championship. Reserves ranges of spaces chosen. Nice thing. So we have got to take down the little, uh, whatchamacallit, the reboot, alright, let's do it, it's on the other side, You know, playing games like this, like the op optimization in this game kind of makes me a bit reluctant to, you know, scared to, you know, play Cyberpunk 2077 because it's such a big game and it's such a, it's such a highly anticipated game that you really don't want it to, you know, have bad performance on your PC. I mean, I get the game is, it's, you know, absolutely amazing, but, you know. Can I talk to Searching you? for repair bay. Error. Navigation systems failed. Unable to comply. Hold up, brother. Damage to navigation systems detected. Attempting to return to designated repair bay. Error. Navigation systems have determined attempting to misdirect or confuse a spacer's <laughs> choice mechanical is. Okay, do I. What do I do? I mean. This. I mean, he's not hurting anyone. I, I, as far as I know. Should help me with something. 
frozen dinner. Is there anything that could help me? Some sort of, you know? A revolver. Should we get a revolver? Ah, oh, it's like a pistola. What if I talk to the guy? You know? Let's talk to this guy. Let's see if, uh, Yeah, sort of literally see if we can, you know, try to convince him. He's just a harmless robot. He's not doing anything. He's just doing his job. Racist. Yo, Ludwig. Where are you, mate? There you are. Is that you? There you go. Bring us honors. Go on. I'm Ludwig Mill. Unofficially. Strictly between you and me. I don't have enough, uh, like, perks to, yeah. Oh, yeah, it's skills. I need 30 to, yeah, exactly. So, okay. Let's not do this right now. I do not want to do this mission right now. Let's go to journal. Let's do this one. Uh, collector's domicile. Let's go over here. Let's try this new pistola. Little tiny weapon. Alright. Oh, there's some maroodles. Pressure in the piston department. I have the retrofitted armor. Yeah, kill these bad boys. Okay. I do not want to wear like the armor, the new armor, mostly because I'm afraid. That maybe that the it's a thing if you like wear the armor, the townsfolk might think you know the creature has an enemy. So I kind of like for the in terms of the storyline, I, I don't want to do that. Uh, so apparently there's a book in here that I need to find. Okay, so this is an abandoned. Outpost. Have I been through here? Yes, I have. Uh, haven't I? Because no, I know. We <laughs> have any messages uh, from Bartetti. I was not that important. But going, going, going. I just go there to the corporate order me to relocate to the Edgewater community and uh, it's a shame we're doing part of running my own gift shop at the community center in my read. But scripture tells us that all things happen for a reason. Work fortifies the spirit and all. As for my book collection, I can can bear to be part of it. Don't want okay.
don't mind if I do. Uh, plasma rifle. Absolutely right. Is the plasma seventy one? I'm trying to, you know, if anyone's seen the new The Mandalorian, the new show on uh, the, the Star Wars show, you know, I'm trying to go for that sort of uh, vibe. I want to waste uh, things right now. Okay, so that means I have to go over there, right? To the cave entrance. Let's see this bad boy. There's stuff over here. Apparently, there's also like a console in this game. So, anyone knows that if you have a console in this game, what happens is that you could, you know, officially kind of cheat your way through the game if you want to do it. So. Can you bring out? Uh, is there any way to go in there? Nope. Nope. Okay, can't do it. Okay. We got about two of these, right? Yeah. What's this? Hmm. Cool. Let's go to the cave. I wonder what that red icon next on top of the what it means. You know, this thing right here. This thing. Seventy-one damage. I'm trying to figure that out. Okay, where's the damn guy? There it is. Alright. Uh, and. Okay, let me back up again. It's all in here. Uh, avoid being seen if you want to engage. Looks like we solved that issue. What awesome stuff does this thing have? Hmm, <sighs> a light machine gun. Da -da -da -da. Is it? Hmm, nice. I think what we should do, according to my calculations, is this is the cantina. Find out what missions that we have to do, but leave that for the later, the next session. Jump into the main, no quest. You know, I think we should do that. I think, yeah, I'm gonna do that. <clears throat> Friend of mine died a couple minutes. What's up, homie? It's not the best choice. Music to my ears. Right, what do you have? What do you have? What do you have? 
Pistolas. Light pistols. All right. Uh, how much money do okay, I have money right there. Wait, no, wait. That's all my money, is it? Oh, there. Okay, yeah. 34, 73. Uh, so it's... Hmm. What's this? Worker outfit. All right. These are weapons, outfits. <laughs> repair at all. Yeah, I want to repair my. Yeah, there you go. Okay, so I can repair. Okay, cool, 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 cool. I like it. I like it. I like it. This and repair this. I like it. So I can re oh, okay. See, I I like I prefer this. Anything to sell? Let's sell uh, one of these. Even this. Okay, skip. Hmm. Du -du 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 -du. Which fe fetches a hefty price? Do I need the heavy armor? Because it. Yeah. This guy, we need. Okay, we have to. Let's just take out the two of one thing, right? Which we don't have. Alright. Pleasure doing business, my man. Alright. Let's go to church. Any progress on that matter we discussed? Uh-huh. I've got your book right here, yeah, mate. Wonderful. This is fantastic. Well worth all the sacrifices I... Wait. What the fuck is this? Is this... French? I can't fucking read French. It's a law-forsaken joke is what it is. French. Ha! I was so high and mighty, preaching to the yokels about following the plan, while fighting it at every turn. Ah. Well, uh, hmm. yes. But I assure you, nope. I've spent my life searching for the keys to unlocking the secrets. I became so desperate, I even got myself assigned to this place. Bokono, the author. Had some interesting theories about man. Unfortunately, he was also. <laughs> oh, please, as nothing could be. But that's neither. Okay. You have a ship. Perhaps I could make my. Free spiritual counseling. Someone to watch your back. I'm pretty handy with a toss ball stick, or any blunt instrument, really. I'm also a passable gun hand if it comes to that. Oh, I'm fairly competent at hacking com. I need your. Okay, let's go. Well, understanding computers is, though I admit I took it further than most. And I was quite the 32nd back during my seminar. Of course, I'm a vicar who. But instead, I ended up. Fantastic. I should. There we go. Uh, let's build this bad boy up. We need 30, right? So. I don't want to get this up to like. No, wait. Revert to. 18 for now. Uh, boinga, boinga. Boinga, 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 and some boinga. Go. Hmm. 
leap, double click, jump when moving forwards to leap forward. Okay. Perfect. When you time your block, just try again. Okay. We have to ferocious counter attack. All right. Uh, let's go there. Let's remove this helmet for just uh, you know. Supreme, right there. I want to take this off right now. Uh, we put that on. Uh, we go over here. We get a journal. Okay, so let's go to the cantina. Let's see if we can find some. You think corporate's ever gonna visit? Hey, what up? I don't know you. I'm uh... Amelia Kim, Spacer's Choice Beverage Dispenser. I don't know what you're about, but this here is a Spacer's Choice drinking establishment. We're all loyal, hardworking company folk here. Okay. You really think so? <laughs> That's kind of you. Huh. I've been trying to keep the floors clean. You got no... Hmm. Guess I misreckoned you. Sorry about that. I didn't mean to be curt. We just got some pro. I can get you a drink if you'd like. Gotta ask you to enjoy your beverage within the premises, though. Can't risk you bringing a drink over to those deserters. You understand. Huh. <sighs> Traitors. The lot of them. Bunch of folks decided they were tired of working and went out into the wilds to fend for their own selves. The town's already struggling to make quotas. Even without that band of slackwits abandoning their posts. Bunch of lazy, shiftless rung leeches. Anyway, enough about them. What can I do for you? Hmm. Do you now? And what makes you think Mr. Thompson wants to talk to you? He's a busy man. You want to talk to Mr. Thompson, try ignoring your duties. He'll summon you up to that great big tower atop the cannery, and you'll get yourself a proper dressing down. Hmm, so it's, it's like a good thing. There was something else I wanted to ask you. Uh... It is a good thing. If you're not pulling your weight, you don't deserve to live here. Simple as that. All right. Go ahead. I don't see how that's any of your business. You're the first to ask after me in some time. Yeah. I'll give you that. My family's worked Spacer's Choice for two generations, and I've lived in Edgewater just about all my life. Mm -hmm. Wanted to work in the sciences once upon a time. Would you believe? What happened, you ask? What always happens when you're dreaming? I woke up. I just didn't have the brains for it. Asked too many questions. Wasn't suited to the work. On our team. So I did the right thing and worked the life I was always meant to live. Now that I'm behind a bar, I can ask all the questions I want. Important ones. Yeah, you're... Don't talk to me that way, please. Spent many years disabusing myself of that notion. Don't need you putting it back in my head. Hmm. Lab work ain't for me. Never was. Uh. They did. They gave me a life. What's wrong with that? It's good, honest work. Pop Unless you're in Byzantium. I hear everything's automated there. Not so fast. I told you about... So. <sighs> What's there to figure out? Stands to reason you work for a company. You ain't... Live, uh... Don't see what a Cleo worker's doing in space or... Well, good luck. Ugh, is this the start of... Nope, I want you... Well, I guess let me see what's on the top. Right up. Okay, let's try to avoid that. Uh, 
<laughs> some water. How much is it? Okay. Right, nice song new. You. Uh never seen you here before. You a visitor? Welcome. I'll be Edgewater. Jewel of the productivity. I am in no condition. Uh Yep. Got my mitt stuck in a rotor wheel. Shredded my wrist up real good. Oh, damn. Conrad went and sewed up my hand. Boss was real generous to me though. Got myself a 5% discount on Zero G Brew. Nice. After the second. Hey, Conrad's a surgeon. Well, he's a barber. Okay, so there's absolutely nothing we can do over here. And we can get this because that would be considered stealing. So we're just gonna explore what's in this area. Okay. Uh, so what is rem what remains in here is Bing right there. Uh, let's go to our journal. Can't do this right now. Let's just okay. Let's just uh watched any watch nothing thank god okay let's do the mission Monkey Argo? Seems we've got a guest. Really now, Parvati, I do wish you'd spoken up. I do apologize. I was given no forewarning of your arrival, or I might have welcomed you at the gates myself. Hmm. You were saying, Miss Holcomb. It's just what Bess needs is a proper refurbish. I, I, I can bandage her up and what all, but she's just old sorry I i'm sorry i'll i'll do better and i do wish you'd stop referring to our cannery as bess personification of company property is strictly contrary to the spacer's choice code of conduct my apologies i am not in the habit of allowing my guests to witness such a row now what can i do for you mm. I'm Reed Thompson, okay. outpost administrator. I cannot help but notice you are not in uniform. Not your posse, bro. Of course not. I don't have that kind of luck. Seems I allowed my excitement to run away with my. Only regulator we got is hooked up to the town transformer, Mr. Top. I beg your pardon. I am most emphatically not keen on any such thing. I can't let you have our power regulator, but I happen to know of another one, and I happen to know exactly how you may retrieve it without frying yourself in the process. My proposition benefits the both of us. Please, hear me out. There's a power regulator in the old botanical lab. It's mostly abandoned, so all that power is being squandered. Go down to the geothermal plant. I know what that Reroute is. Reroute power from the botanical district over to us. Once their power shut down, you can have their regulator and be along on your way. Hmm. I was not entirely sure how to tell you this. The botanical labs are not legally inhabited, but there are people who live there. Okay, uh, tell me what I need to do, what a surprise I never would have guessed. I don't think these people will take kindly to losing their power. Mm. No, I do not imagine they will be pleased. But, like a parent disciplining an unruly child, you will be doing them a kindness. 
The people living in the botanical labs. They're deserters. Former workers. I need them back at their posts. I need them to come home. Edgewater is struggling. We haven't hit our production quota in years. If we don't meet our quotas this year, the company might shut us down for good. I need those workers back at their stations. It's our problem, not yours, but I'm asking for your help. If those workers don't come back, Edgewater is going to collapse. My hope is that by cutting off their power, you will convince those deserters to come back to town. Before you go to the plant, I want you to stop by the botanical lab. Speak to their leader, Adelaide. Tell her the power's about to go, and that it's time her band of deserters came back to town. Adelaide's older than the other deserters. She's dignified, kindly. I am asking you to help us survive. Edgewater needs more workers or hey, we yeah, will collapse. Yeah, I'm actually up after this. We belong to one it. community. The Spacer's Choice family. If we dissolve into factions, mm. then we will all perish separately. Adelaide will understand that. Of course, I understand completely. Here, let me give you the passcode to the geothermal plant. A sign of good faith. For so politely listening to me as I ramble on. Are you setting off for the Vale? Because I know my way around. I mean, if that's all. I hesitate to part ways with Miss Holcomb, but I. Great! I. Well, I am glad to hear that. Best of luck. Companions, alright. We better clear out of Mr. Thompson's office before we talk. Alright. Wanna join me? We better clear out of Mr. Thompson's office and mm. talk. Okay. We better clear out of Mr. Thompson. Hey, mister, can we talk? Yeah, I was... Sorry. Sorry. I... You just want to get out of here. And you likely don't want to tag along like me. It's just, Mr. Thompson has his own view on that. To Mr. Thompson, a person's a gear. It does its job quiet-like. If it squeaks or stutters, it gets replaced. The deserters are decent folk. I knew some of them before they left. Uh, uh. Miss McDevitt? Oh, gosh, no. She was a real important person. A flavorist. All I know is she left after her son died. It was a real big to-do. I could hear them both yelling clear from my own... Can't say as I know, I wasn't there. The sound carrier. If Mr. Thompson ain't of a mind to tell you his own self, you'd best ask Miss McDevitt if you can get out to her. Okay. I don't know anybody well. I most. There was a boy named Thomas who used to follow me around, asking questions. Life's hard here, especially for them that don't fit in so well. Okay. Mr. Thompson's aiming to take away their power. They'll have no lights to see, nor heat. I think you should talk to the town's vicar about it. Max, his name is. Yeah, I know, I've met him. Books are for rich folk. About if what Mr. Thompson proposes to do is upright. Leaving Miss McDevitt's folk to their fate. And maybe he can think of something else to try. Something we ain't. It's just an idea. Okay. Thanks, man. I just think when you got a mate, that's what my dad is. All right, so we need to go to the thick. 
Joker get his uh, find the power regulator. Hmm. Speak to the vicar, man, because I'm kind of uh, yeah. Where's the vicar's that somewhere there? Right? <clears throat> I've always felt weird in here. It's too. I'll meet you on the ship when you're. Uh, what? I, I thought you would talk to him. You wanted to speak to me, Ms. Holcomb. Every time I've tried to engage you in con. I can't imagine what would be so grave as to drive her to my mission. Hmm. Depriving them of safety from the marauders and wildlife. I can see why that troubles you. Yeah. Miss Holcomb has a soft heart. Always has, if you believe the talk. They rejected the order of society and live beyond the walls so thoughtfully. Does that strike you as a res Assuming your goal is to save as many as possible, then you should bring everyone together. Send the power to Edgewater and convince the deserters to return to the fold. If it were as easy as a few soothing words and... They who are not satisfied with their work are satisfied with nothing. No. How about um, work fortified? The OSI teaches that the Grand Architect set a perfect system in motion at the beginning of time. Contentment is found by accepting one's role in that grand... The Order of Scientific Inquiry, also known as... You don't talk to the Grand Architect. Once the universe was set in motion... Mm. We will eventually decode the plan and all its intricacies. Once we are able to deduce the... the okay. Well, first there's the matter of the secret blood rites and animal sacrifice. Seriously, though, to truly... Uh, okay. So. We need to go to the journal. Hmm. Let's go to Adley. Let's see if we can, uh. Yeah. I, I would rather talk to Adley about this. Uh, okay, so we're going to find Adley. Where is okay, like why are these missions like with me? Alright, we gotta go. Just go and just do some action. I want to use this plasma rifle. I'm kind of uh, craving to fire a few shots. Uh, what's the? Be right there. Oh, okay, okay. That's the control thing, right? Okay. Okay. That's the double gun, right? I think so. <clears throat> Got it. So what does this do? I had this, you know, kind of negotiate with these, uh, the you know, the deserters. Yeah.
Also because I have this really fancy weapon over here. Stop, okay. I have to protect you because you have limited lives. Lab. Move along, stranger. We don't want any trouble. Uh, I don't want any trouble either. But... I don't know you. Whatever you're looking for, it ain't here. Move along. Answers, huh? You must be. No. Uh. Yeah, that's us. And you can tell Thompson if you're gonna start wandering around my camp. Over in the hothouse, tending crop. Enough with the questions. No. Of you don't know what enough. No, I'm sorry. That was unworthy of me. Lady named Zoe went missing some nights ago. Just up and vanished right, without a I trace. I can do a favor for these guys. Now I'm pacing around. Uh. Thank the Eternal. Wait, Marauder Camp? Is she all right? I protected her, yeah. Getting along? What? If you could bring her home, I'd be obliged. And if you could cross off some Marauders on the way. Uh. I'll tell you what. Well, enough to know we never got on. Zoe and Stefan were close. Stephane. If anybody. She was lazy and thoughtless. Okay. What is it? Okay, so Zoe is right. So before we do that, okay. Let's uh okay. Oh. No. Let's come back here. Let's actually no no no. Let's do something. Let's go over here. Let's yeah, let's get Zoe. Come on, we gotta come in Zoe, because we already cleared that Marauder, 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 whatever, camp. So I think we have, we have yeah, so, uh, I got to try my new weapon. Pravati, where are you? Yeah, huh? I need to give you some, uh... You mean about the mission? I know, but... Real machines have gunked up oil. The machine Vicar sees is one ain't never been run. Vicar's about the only soul in the vein. It's just that when he looks at me. Uh, I'm gonna leave you. Okay, wait, no, no, you, uh, okay. I really wanna protect you. I do not want you to die. Uh, how do I? Try to protect you. I need to uh, wait a minute. I don't know anybody who ever came out this far. 
Oh, no, 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 no. Damn it. What's in here? Wouldn't do for a Wentzworth. Cool. Uh, it's the chopper. Why? Adelaide wants me back on guard. And no serial dramas. I've been thinking about. It. I'll take my stuff and head on back. Yes. I suppose. Great. We got that thing done. Now we go back to. Uh, yep. There you are. I gotta change the weapon because this weapon has like a charging sort of thing. It doesn't really do a lot. It's yeah. What is it? I got your girl, Zoe. We didn't always get along. Zoe joined up with a band of marauders. Zoe, you pretty much did my... Let me know if I can do something for you. Uh, you could, you know, probably help me out. You know, make a few calls. Hey. If you're hungry, there's meat turning on the spit outside. If you're bearing illness, find a place to lay your head down and I'll fetch you a poultice. Whatever your trouble. I have been called that, among other things. Green thumb, grandmother, so. the Excuse me, Miss McDevitt? Why, thank you. You're Robert's girl, aren't you? Oh. I remember when you were but a... Are you staying long? You should try... Reed Thompson? You here on behalf of... Let's hear it. Amends. Like everything else that comes out of Edgewater, that peace offering. He would do such a thing. The question is, why would you agree to his plans? Cannery's got a regulator. You want ship parts, you ought to rip them out of the cannery's guts and leave us be. If you're going down to the plant, you should divert power away from Edgewater and toward our end of the grid. Think about it. You'd be liberating an entire town from a lifetime of service to that odious cannery. Seems the sort of thing a hero would do. You've seen that miserable excuse for a town with your own lamps. Hollowed out workers laboring their lives away at the cannery, living off whatever. You know that's true, don't you, Ms. Holcomb? Your father died of overwork. His heart gave out. He, he was tired all the time, sure, but... Look what they did to this child. Look. Are you throwing that in her face? Life in Edgewater grinds to a halt. The cannery shuts down. 
Workers desert in droves, and our own little camp grows and thrives. You bring power to Reed's town, and you'll be killing us. Well, Reed knows it. Work He's counting both on them? Them. I trust you will listen to your conscience. What do I do? I mean, I do have to... Zoe says she fought her way out of a marauder camp with her own bear. Fresh off the limb. Hmm. Uh, okay, probably not right now, but... Wait. It's a bit too expensive, but yeah. Uh, this is a deserter. Anything else? I am getting old, you know. These two lamps of mine are not as bright. My dear, we are all visitors in a momentary universe. Me and mine are just carrying on. More of the colony felt the way you did. We'd have ourselves a proper revolution. Mm -hmm. I can't stop you from conducting your business down at the plant. I just want you to know that if you take our power away, you will have brought an end to our way of life. Yeah, I can't do that. I don't want to do that. Not under Reed's watch. He and I would come to blows within a day, and he would never tolerate my tending to a garden. This is my home. It will be my home, even if Reed cuts our power. Simple as that. That's because Reed was my boss. I was the cannery's one and only flavor specialist, you see. Remember that limited run of white chocolate oh, saltuna? The best. That was all me. My son worked in that cannery. We had a store of medicine locked away. But Reed refused to treat him. Said my boy didn't deserve treatment. So I buried my boy in the cemetery, gathered my belongings. I could not possibly care less if he does. I gotta get Reed's opinion on this. I gotta see the whole, the, what, you know, this story. I can't just, uh,. Home is where the heart is. Marauders took that saying a little too literally. Yep. Uh, let's, uh, I want to ask this guy one second.
break. Okay, so uh, what I'm thinking. No, wait, I got onto the wrong area, didn't I? I was supposed to go over here. All right, we gotta go over here. I gotta, I gotta get the other side of the story. I forget. See what you know. Reed has to say about this. Like, what's his uh, yeah, OPI about that? <clears throat> New weapons can have plasma cutter. Right, you can have the grips and attack points modified to upgrade the weapon damage type, speed. Yeah, you get temporary bonuses to your skills from consumables. All right, so let's load up a bit. Heard something outside the walls. You think corporate's ever gonna live it? Where's that guy? How do I get to... Wait, how do I get to that guy? Oh wait, is it from here? No. get to that guy oh, wasn't it here oh yes it was sorry My offer remains standing. Go ahead. It is my job to keep... I'm trying to remember 25 years, 26... I remember looking out this window and seeing the... Times change, people change, but the veil... I wish you wouldn't say yes when I stand at my window and look out over my town here's what I we are all part of the spacers choice this is a spacers choice town we're all part of the spacers choice family here the company keeps us warm oh uh, thank you so much for that, brother. thank you so much man keeps us working thank you so much loyalty has got nothing to do with it friend this is good old-fashioned gratitude. My drugs gaming, man. Thank you so much, brother. Go ahead. Uh... Adelaide was our only flavor specialist. We are a Saltuna canning institution. Saltuna without flavor is like... Word up to me, friend. I'd stack our larders with Saltuna galore. No other... But, and this is something we must keep between the two of us. Saltuna is hard to come by. What with being a species indigenous to the seas of another world. Uh, hang on. So where you can hear exactly? Uh. Wait. Oh, we've scavenged together some organic material from the surrounding environment. Some of which possess a texture akin to a well-boiled slab of Saltuna. The difference is all but impossible to detect to any but the prissiest of palate. Okay. I'll talk to you again. My offer remains standing should you reconsider. Uh, this guy doesn't care about his family. He doesn't care about... Uh, yeah. You mean why? There was a, a... Sure, I've always been good with my hands, right? So okay. I saw a lock on the... So I did my thing. It's not funny. 
Right about then, a bunch of loaders came, and Mr. Thompson was up on the porch making a speech about how everyone would have to volunteer. Anyhow, you ever... Okay. Exploded all over. I was just shy of work. I can laugh about it now, but I just about puked up my guts in terror in the moment. Hmm. My offer remains... Go ahead. That you are not one of us may work to your advantage. Adelaide and her folk loathe the people. I admit the fault was mine. I'm about as diplomatic as a bristling... Scripture tells us we all have our purpose in the world. Our work shows us that purpose. Yes, we have lost good workers to desertion. We have lost even more to plague. But it is why we must square our shoulders and carry on. Okay. Losing Adelaide was the hardest. She was our only flavor specialist. When she walked away, I knew we were in trouble. Spacer's Choice Saltuna is renowned across the system. Ever since Adelaide left. I know why you did it, but it's not showing me that option. Can we not? If I had enough medicine to treat everyone who fell sick, I would, but I don't. I can't save everyone. So I have to choose. Adelaide's son was barely competent. I treat him with our medical rations, and it looks like I'm playing favorites. Now, I will not pretend to understand the suffering Adelaide must have felt on account of losing her child, but she is not the only one to have felt such suffering. I wish she had stayed with us. Adelaide left us when we needed her most. That I cannot say. There was no moment when the plagues began. Disease always lurks on the fringes of society, waiting to infect the idle and the lethargic. But in the last ten years, the plagues have become progressively worse and increasingly frequent. Okay, let's do this. Corporate doesn't like us using the word should. It encourages the imagination. I believe plague is a test. It is a test of our loyalty and our fortitude, and it is one we. Go ahead. Oh, I think I can ask him now. Do I do? See, I have to choose between one of these guys. Da, 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 da. Oh, there's no here. But Stranger to Strange Land or Okay, let's just go towards that uh where is the geothermal thing? I think it's out of here to fast travel from here. Where are we headed? That's on account. I don't rightly she was in another division of the space. Her contract said any kids she had, expected or not. Well, I don't know about normal. Dad said she worked under some kind of... It's sensible. Dad just fixed machines. She did some kind of crazy math. Okay. What well, we gotta do... <gasps> okay. I'm so not liking the opening mission. <laughs> it's just, I don't want to, like... That's the thing. I mean, do you save something that's already existing? Like an existing town, which is, yeah, they're having issues, but then... Uh, someone's trying to be a bit more conservative. The other one's a bit more... You know, they, they want to survive on their own. What it, I need to 
fast travel over here fox windows or now adds pv and very similar to, 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 to your front of your home all right <clears throat> uh yeah let's see because it's, it's yeah it's, it's a very tough decision uh wait a minute wait a minute what the hell Stay sharp. Wow. Try to rank up uh, a bunga, a bunga, a bunga, a bunga, 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 bunga. Right, and some bunga. Actually, no, 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 no. Let's revert this. Uh, let's actually let's try to rank these bad boys up because these are very low. Drag these ones up. Perks. Uh, you trust, and that's what you. Uh, let's see this one. There's an opening over here. I, uh, I'm so confused. I like not confused. I'm just like it's tearing me apart, Lisa. Lisa, uh, yeah, because ooh, botch your pistol. Let's put this bad boy in here. Andy Jones, okay, nice. Uh, it is tearing me apart, Lisa. I got a new armor, didn't I? Like it. I mean, does it mean that my yeah? Because I think if I put this on, faster stock armor, or being dodge, stealth skills minus five. I think my speed decreases. I guess. Compare that to. Uh, wait. Where is it? Where is it? Where is it? Oh, this is pretty awesome. No, oh, which is the one that I just got right now? I dropped it on the floor. Where did I drop it? There it is. Hmm, this is pretty badass. I can't use this later on. Uh, yes, this is like my main armor. But if I go for this one, I was if I compare this one to. 
<sighs> Look pretty badass in this one, but this is pretty heavy armor. Let's go over here. Search every nook and cranny. Sneaked. There's stealth. I don't know why it's stealth in this game, but I think it's a bit. Uh, yeah. Uh, I know that's an opening. I'm gonna see if there's like a door anywhere near that can open up. Uh, any weaponies? Uh, no. Arm. Oh, this is pretty awesome. What happened over here? The control room should be off to the right. Uh huh. Show you this armor. Okay. I hope we're doing the right thing. Uh, you and me both. You and me. Nice shot. Okay, this thing has uh, good armor. I mean, Honey, yeah. Look out. Yep, broke that X. Let's just see what we have in here. What happened over here, man? Go up top, just uh, okay. We can go over there. We can pick that lock. We go down from there. The air. Oh, no, no, no. Let's see what's in here. Thompson. Okay. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna figure this out. Rose performing. Weapon, can I? Mm, no one. Let's go over here. Look at this. Peace. Okay. Uh 
Har du ikke det? Ja. No, I was thinking about I need like if I had to. No, how do I? It was the thing I could I could upgrade this. Okay, can't do it right now. Let's not focus on that. At this very moment. Okay. Top. Okay. What's that? Gotta figure what that is. One second. I don't think it's one thing to very much like Higgins. Alright. Let's talk over here. Okay, so. Yo, what did you. Uh, any. Yeah, huh? Later. You don't have anything to say. <coughs> okay. Uh, let's. Uh, Doesn't tell me where to redirect the power. I just oh, there's a switch, right? Okay. I yeah, I'm gonna give it to her. I'm gonna give her the. Get away! Oh, what the hell? It's Higgins. Mind the steam. You're liable to get scalded. Where's Higgins? I gotta look for this guy.
Okay. Okay. That's the rewriting power, but you gotta figure this out. With the, you know, like what's over here? Where's Higgins? Felt like you needed some help. If we send okay. the power to Miss McDevitt. What happens to the veil? Yeah, huh? Uh, okay, no, I thought you said something. So we went through here, right? Yeah, okay, this is the exit, okay. Okay. Once we do this, there's no going back. Hey, mister? Look, I know you want your power regulator and all, yeah, please. I just gotta ask you. Do you understand what you're about to do? <sighs> yeah. I don't think you should cut off Edgewater's power. I think it would be cruel. I I'm sorry. That just sort of came out all at once. Edgewater's hurt. Oh, don't be better, on you than that? We've been losing workers year after year, and corporate hardly ever sends replacements. There's barely enough Saltuna to fill our bellies anymore. But the town's got some good people in it. Decent, hardworking folk just living their lives the only way they know how. Yeah, man. Uh, see they you. don't deserve to be. Uh, see you there, brother. Thank you for, you know, tuning in. Thank you so much. Miss McDevitt's built something beautiful. Somehow, she's talked the ground into giving life again. It's plain to see she's made the Vale a better place. Fed the hungry, tended the sick. Gave a home to those that had none. But Miss McDevitt delights in Edgewater's suffering. She wants to hurt the town. Do you really want to be party to that kind of hatred? <sighs> well, that sure sounds like Mr. Thompson. If he was standing here, I imagine he'd remind us of how we're all one big... Happy Spacer's Choice family. In Mr. Thompson's eyes, those deserters are still part of the Spacer's Choice family. The family must work together in order to survive. I hate to say it, but I think Mr. Thompson's got a point. Unless those deserters come back, Edgewater's as good as dead. Cutting off their power might be the only way. Sorry, I didn't mean to babble off. Really? Yeah, what do we do? I don't think I can, uh... Yeah. Suffered otherwise. Yeah. We gotta go to. Yep, I have to go to her. I have to go to Vale right now. I gotta figure this out. I gotta see what I can salvage out there. Damn, this is a pretty. Why does why why does this have to be like the start of the game? Why is that this have to be, oh, maybe that's like have like the setup, you know, the but even then, oh my god. Wow. 
Uh, okay, this game takes a lot. I, I wasn't expecting this to be that way. I need to go to... Yeah, I need to go to, to the... I, I gotta figure this out. She's gonna hit me for it, but... But that's the thing, you know? If I don't know. She's definitely gonna hit me. Expecting a smack to the face right about now. Oh, that's Thomas. He used to follow me around before he left the cannery. What happened? Sprat fell into a transformer again? I don't know what you did to talk some... Don't see why Thomas can't... Something I can help you? Uh, I don't want to break the news to these guys, but... Uh, sorry. Shotgun and this and this. Okay, you gotta meet the boss. start to fail this is all you're doing cutting i want to ask you this in private away from the eyes you want my flock go talk to grace and thomas look them in the eye and tell them their life here and you tell reed thompson that i will never you offering to cross yeah. reed off huh this some sort of twisted reparation for what you've done? Or are you just looking for a chance to sow some chaos? Kill Reed if you must, or talk him into leaving if you can. Tell Reed that I can make his people healthy again. I can end their plague. Start a new garden right in the can. Tell him how I've made the vet. Okay. The secret is human corpses. I've been grinding... Edgewater Cemetery's got corpse. Okay. One second. If I remove Reed from the from the yeah, I think that helps a lot. Okay, if I remove Reed from Edgewater, some political is you know politicals. Politics, politics, uh, option remove. If I remove this guy, if we convince him. Yeah, because, yeah, we more liberal society, you know? Uh, yeah. Let's go to, let's go to this man that's, uh, yeah. We gotta do this, we gotta do this. Do, 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 do. Cause I, I I will look him in the eye. Oh man, I really like this game. This is such a cool game. The fact that you have to make those decisions and you have to like, I like it. I love it. I look it. Where are you, my man? What is the? Something inside the walls today. Nothing. Wonder if the plague's ever gonna come. There he is. I gotta convince him somehow. I use my charming skills. Something. Did 
This was a fine day, friend. I trust Adelaide's people. Then we are at an impasse. I am not perfect. I can, uh... I am not without compassion for Abernathy. I am a spacer's choice, man. Are you out of your mind? You just... You just killed him. I can't. I need to. No. You killed Mr. Thompson for talking down his nose at me? Let's just. Let's just move on. I couldn't forgive myself if I let you loose upon the Valens. I have no sympathy for this guy because he's gonna kill you all. That's the issue. Listen. Something you Whatever it is. I just saved your life. You thank me later. I don't I don't give a damn. Wait. You get over it. Adelaide. You're safer inside the wall. Alright. So we removed Reed from it. He wasn't this thing. He wanted more power, but he wasn't doing anything to help the people. I think I did. I think I, I, I signed my decision. You know? Okay, so go over here. Let me fast travel to wait no. Once we're high society cigarettes cigarettes. Alright. I don't need to talk to these people anymore, do I? Because... What happened? Look at that! You have a peculiar comfort with violence. Suppose it's time our flock made our way back to Edgewater. You're vexing to me, you know? Injuring us with one hand, helping us with the other. This don't put us on even footing. I might turn that old cannery into a garden. I need some time to gather my person. That was a good thing you did, Captain. Helping to bring the deserters and... See? Told you you forget all about it. Uh, 
All right, guys. I will be. Uh, where do I go? Where do I go? Where do I go? Where do I go? Yeah, there's where I have to go. Uh, I should have done this, shouldn't I? But I don't think my character is. Companion ability C and V. Uh, okay. I know. I'm trying to think. Let's go to the unreliable. So we're gonna end it over here for now. A good three, almost three and a half hours. Damn. It was pretty engaging. After that, I mean, it's one of those games that I, I wasn't expecting to be this. Wow, I'm I'm amazed. Amazed, bold. Is this your ship? Oh my star, she See? is just so handsome. She me. Does she have a name yet? What's her drive model? Oh, <sighs> I'm the only decent mechanic Edgewater's got. Uh. I've worked on the occasional okay. supply coach. Let's see if we can repairs. convince her to join our crew. Once I built a little model craft. I want to ask you something. And you can say no. Absolutely. But can I? And if you ever need a pair of eyes watching your. Mm. Yes. There you captain. go. I'm a captain now, boys. Uh, let put some uh, finest threads over here. Put this over here. Get this. Uh, Nope. This one. Uh, no. 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 Uh, no. 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 Oh, let's go where our OGs. So, Nick. Well, I certainly am looking forward to flying on a ship named the Unreliable. Uh, I'll just head upstairs and claim a room. I find what something. Uh, I was, I'm fine with what's your story? Nothing too out of the ordinary. Just, uh, that's what my parents called it. I grew up in a pit of a town, much like Edge. I was destined to be a laborer like my parents, but I was infected early with a need to solve the equation. My, mm -hmm. my parents, they internalized the precepts of scientism like no one I've ever known. They had a pure. I envied that. I... Mm. They thought I was fighting the plan. Should have accepted my lot. It can be if abused, but that can be. Okay. I've been thinking on that. There's a former associate, uh, infamous philosopher. He's also who told me of the journal's presence in Emerald Vale. If anyone. Uh. Oh, I'm anything. We should start on the Groundbreaker. It's where I'd go if I wanted to get off Terra 2. All I need is access to a data cartridge from the security terminal. They're easily. I'll comb the last six months of departure manifest to track the philosophy. Okay. How's that simple vicar knows the car happens so. Before I transferred to Edgewater, I had a wealth of... T I meditated, led sermons, provided guidance to the inmates as needed, of course. I also played prison yard toss... <laughs> what is this mission? Is this a side mission? Yeah. Uh, companion quest. Okay. That's that. Do we need something? You okay, now. I'm just like, what do I need to do? What do 
is this mission, by the way? It doesn't seem to be over here, so it must be like a, in a different planet. All right. Uh, let's do this. Captain, I have detected that Edgewater's power supply is now optimal. I applaud your willingness to invest your time in the local community. What can I do for you, Captain? Uh, do you know how... Outstanding, Captain. Our engine room is located... Okay. It's alive. Yeah. Anything else I go? Please. Okay. What can I do for you? All systems. I am prepared to bring the unreliable. There you go, guys. The first part. Day zero of the Outer Worlds. Uh, it's pretty fun. I'm enjoying this. Wow. I don't know if this is like the first act, but it's a pretty, uh, pretty awesome first start. You know, for for a game. Uh, yeah, it's, uh, it's amazing. Okay. So it looks like let's see what we have before we end the session. We have received a communication request from Dr. Phineas Wells. Oh, this dude. Ah, there you are. Hale and hearty and captain of your own ship. I see you're putting the unreliable to good use. Shame about her former captain. Horrible way to die. <laughs> How are you feeling, by the way? I lost track of you in that cave back there. Experiencing any uh, unnatural drippage? Perfectly normal side oh, effect okay. of thought. Oh, that, yes, um, that's probably... <laughs> what you saw in Emerald Vale is happening all across the colony. Food shortages, lack of supplies, and basic necessities. We're dying. The chairman, the minister, and all their lackeys on the board. The Hope has some of the brightest minds Earth ever sent us. If we can revive the Hope's colonists, they can help us undo. You need to get to Stellar Bay on Monarch. I have contacts there. They'll help me, help us, find the camp. Gladys Kelly, lovely woman, runs a cozy little black marketing outfit on the Groundbreaker. She can get you a nav key to land on Stellar Bay. Uh, slow down. You asked me to get involved with the black market, or I could put up uh or i could put up a couple light years between me and halcyon and uh strictly speaking monarch is a moon terraformed bad captains don't fly their own ships you see your navigation terminal handled the board's been confiscating nav gladys and i have been doing business for years her smuggling credentials are unimpeachable if anyone can get you a key to monarch Criminals, goodness no. So, Smuggling is a perfectly legitimate business venture. If misappropriating board property is a crime, well then, throw plenty of ways to make money in Halcyon, you know. Not all are above board. Oh, <laughs> above. Laughter, good. Wasn't sure you'd be able to. After so long frozen, I'll make a note. Without a skip drive, good luck. You, look, I admire your optimism, but the sad truth is you're stuck here. You, me, and the, none of us are leaving Halcyon alive, so... Excellent. By the way, I gave Captain Hawthorne a disguise apparatus of my own design. I call it the Holographic Shroud. I'm sure it will prove remarkably useful to you. Hmm... Marvelous device. I'm quite proud of it. Oh, has okay. limits. First generation technology, you see, but promising. Exciting. Very simply, the holographic shroud uses biometric information contained on standard identity. Oh, 
only stands up to a casual scrutiny. Use it too long, bound. Best used in moderation. Maintain your distance. Act normal. No running, no jumping. Don't draw. Hmm. <laughs> a change of clothes. What is this? Some old spy cereal? What inattentive and brain? The holographic shroud masks not only your clothes, but your face and oh, fingerprints. Okay. Nice. Spin <laughs> your breath. Science, that's how. Oh, science. Ha 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 ha! The beauty is, they don't expect it. The shroud is the only one of its kind. We humans have a tendency to overlook the unexpected. Activate the disguise, walk past someone. What do they see? A figure dressed like... Excellent. I'll count. And remember, don't trust the... The board's only interested in filling their own... Transmission ended. If you are ready to depart, please select a destination on your navigation terminal. Okay, navigation is that... Wow. Well, right, that's an navigation terminal. Uh, where are my quarters? Uh, up there. Aw, oh, damn it. It's my beds. Stuff is in here. Wait a minute. I got it. I like it. Okay. So, guys, while we look at this magnificent sight, thank you so much for watching. Thank you so much for tuning in. I'm Henry. Do that like, comment, and subscribe down below. Click that bell icon. I would really show your support. We will fight on tomorrow. Actually, not tomorrow. Tomorrow we're going to play this game again, but we're going to play Fortnite after this. We'll see you guys there. Right, guys? See you guys later.